Um, how you doing folks? Derek here again. Um, I just want to do an update on the family in Mitchellstown. Um, so, they're still sleeping in their car at the moment, as far as I know. Um, I'll be ringing them there later, uh, just to touch base with them. But, I spoke to a man by the name of Billy Skews from the Anglican Church today. Uh, he's the man heading the phones for the um, the Church of Ireland that own the houses in Kingston College. Um, I called him today right, to proposition him. I basically said that um, I was down there the other night. I noticed that the eight houses are still empty. Right, and would he consider letting the local family stay in one of the houses i said they'd uh, pay rent they pay a deposit um but he's got eight houses going to ukrainians would they consider giving one just one of the houses to the local family he said that he couldn't because the names were picked already the um the families from Ukraine right, had been selected already and they were moving in there right, in the next few days. I told them, I said, look, you know, right, could we remove right, one family from the list? He said, right, he said, absolutely not. I even offered, um, he said the reason why the families hadn't moved in yet was because uh, the snag list um, had to be... Um, finished now for those of you that don't know what a snag list is is after right after a job is carried out there's always little bits and pieces that need to be finished so each house or right, you do a snag list for each house i offered to finish the snag list for the particular house um uh that he might let uh right, the local family into i offered to do the snag list for free he refused again um, he told me what he would do was he would phone the trustees right, of the houses right, because they owned them um, he said he'd he'd uh, he'd right, right, run it by them right, and see what they said I also said that I would stop all activism at Kingston College I said I won't get on there with a sign I won't make videos I said I will steer clear of it right I'll do the snag list for free just give one house to the local family. Um, he called me back a while ago and he called the trustees right, and he said there's no way that they can give away one of the houses. Right? He said maybe down the road, but he said at the moment um, he can't. He said uh, what they should do is phone um, Cork County Council and go on the emergency housing list now I explained to him that the emergency housing list um, I explained to him earlier that the emergency housing list right, would only offer them a hotel room and there's six of them there but look you know he he uh, he, uh, he didn't seem interested I didn't record the call because I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt I didn't want to corner him um so when i rang him first i told him right that the call wasn't being recorded i was trying to keep it as amicable as possible um but as far as i'm concerned from no one there's right, there's no more being nice i'm not like i'm not holding back now anymore um i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to town now on uh the protestant church of ireland um for what they're doing here considering the circumstances as well right if people in Mitchellstown weren't sleeping on the street right and he wanted to give um eight houses away to um chancellors from ukraine right now when i say that right not all of them are chancellors but the war is like is only in a very small part of the country right it's only in 15 percent of the country right the rest of the country is open for business Right, they could house all those people right in their hotels, 
why are we having to do it here when we're in um, so much trouble of our own? Uh, the next thing that I wanted to say was um, I'm due to go on 96 FM tomorrow between 9 and 10 o'clock to speak about the family in Mitchellstown. Um, I contacted Red FM as well, right, but they don't seem interested. Right, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep contacting them. Um, 96 FM were supposed to get back to me uh, in the afternoon today, right, to clarify the time, right, but they didn't. So it's possible that they might have got wind of who I am. Um. We know and all right that media companies don't like uh talking about the plight right of Irish people. They only want to know about um foreigners having a hard time. So if they found out right, who I am and they don't call me tomorrow, then I have a plan for that as well. But we'll hold tough until tomorrow right to see if they call me. Um, they're supposed to have me on between nine and ten. So keep an ear out if I get a chance. Right. between the time they call me right, and the time I'm supposed to go on air, then I'll do a post on Facebook and Telegram and hopefully as many people as possible right, can tune in. Uh, try to get like as many people as you know listening to it because the more publicity we can get for this case, um, the better. The more people that know about it, the better. Um, so, yeah... Um, that's my update on that. Uh, Anglican Church. Absolutely, 100%, I tried everything. Will not leave Irish people in those houses. It's only Ukrainians. He was bragging, uh, he was bragging that um, he he gave one of the houses last year right, to an Irish family. I said, how much did you rent it to her for? Right? He said, that's none of your business. I said, you're giving those houses for free to Ukrainians. Right? But you're bragging to me, right, that you rented to an Irish woman. So, you know, that's nothing really to be um, um, singing from a hymn sheet about, a hymn sheet, sheet about, you know. So anyway, look, that's Billy Skews from the, the Anglican Church. That's my update for tonight. Um, I'll chat to you all soon, folks.